What's up guys? Thank you for joining. Today I'm going to answer one of the questions that almost every Power BI developer has in mind. Would ChatGPT replace Power BI developers? And I'm going to answer this question with just one example. So, stay tuned. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. Before we get started with this competition, human being versus chat GPT to write DAX code, let me walk you through these tables real quick. We have a financial table here. You might be familiar with this table and also here we have another table called DAX measures and we have just one measure right there. So our goal here is to create a calendar table. Remember a calendar table is critical if you are dealing with time intelligence calculations and we're going to do this by comparing like I said before a human being versus this a robot or this platform called chat GPT. So let's get started with a human being. And for this particular case, that's going to be me. I'm going to write a calendar table real quick. So let's go over modeling here and then let's hit new table. And we're going to name this dates human being. Okay. So now we're going to use variables here. Keep in mind what I'm using here, variables. I'm gonna create a base table here. And then we're gonna use the calendar table. Selecting here the financials date column. And then for month, a good practice is always to start on January 1st. Okay. There you go. Now let's copy this line real quick. There you go. And then let's replace minimum with maximum here. Okay. Let's add a comma here as well. And then the upper limit should always be December 31st. So that's a good practice. Please keep in mind what I'm doing here. Okay. So now we're going to use return. And here we're going to use this function called add columns. The base table is going to be the variable that we just created base table right here and then we're going to start adding new columns to the base table so how about year here and then we're going to use the year function and we're going to reference here the date column from the calendar table comma here let's add another column here called month for example and we're going to use the month function. We're going to be referencing the same column from the calendar table. How about year month? We can do that as well. And we're going to use here format. And then here, so the format is going to be like this. Okay. And then here we can also add quarter if we want it is right there we are referencing here the same column from the calendar table and then if we want we can also add another column here called weekday and then here we're going to be referencing 
the same column from the calendar table and here we're gonna select number two so this means that the week starts in Monday and ends on Sunday so I think we are good for now let's close this and hit enter and let's see what happens all right so it seems like it's working so let's double check that let's go to data here bingo there it is my friends and here we can also make a couple of changes if we want just date and here short date as you can see we just created this calendar table and now let's see how we can do this by using chat gpt in order to do so we're going to go over a website so this one right here openai.com and here let's hit try if you haven't created an account yet you have to do that in order to play with this tool so once you create this account you will have this option right here this window and the first question that we're going to ask here is the following what is a calendar table in power bi let's see what happens it's thinking there you go a calendar table in power bi is a table that contains a list of dates and information about those dates such as the date of the week the month and the quarter and etc right so really good information in my opinion really nice background so now the next question that we're going to ask is to write a calendar table okay so let's do that write a calendar table by using a dax formula in power bi so let's see fingers crossed my friends it is thinking there you go it's interesting so it's using the calendar function so there is another option there as well i kind of like that one as you can see we see the limits there the lower and upper limits perfect wow it's giving you guys the the function and also the lower and upper limits and let's keep asking questions here show me the DAX code to create a calendar table in more detail so let's see what we got ah it's using variables that's interesting so now it says that we can add also additional columns right there you go wow that's really interesting that's really neat okay there you guys have it it is impressive i mean you can clearly see the pieces of code here it depends on you right so we have to make a decision here because we have different pieces of code how we can put this together and it's really cool that it's also giving me the option to create a calendar table by using variables that's awesome so let's use this piece of code then copy the code and let's see if this works let's go back to power bi and here we're gonna go to modeling here and then new table let's see if this works so we're gonna rename this okay how about that dates chat gpt so let's keep using this code and see how we can adapt it so what is key here is that you can use your knowledge your background to start tweaking this code 
But you need to have a background here, right? You need to you need to be familiar with calendar tables and DAX and Power BI if you wanna tweak this piece of code and make it work. So let's do that. Here we have two variables initially, right? We have the minimum date, the max date. And here, what we need to do here is to replace this with the date column from the financials table. It's right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this. There you go. And here, these are the variables that we just created. And then year, for this particular case, we're gonna use the calendar table, right? So let's see. There you go. This is the column from the calendar table, the dates column from the calendar table. And for this, so we're gonna do the same here, okay? There you go. So we can also make a couple of changes here. This is just date. And here, short date. There you go. We have year here, we have quarter, we have month. This is July 7, month name, July, week 27, day of week. This should be Wednesday, day of month, first. So it's working fine, guys. Very, very impressive, guys. So let's make a couple of relationships here, okay? So this is a fact table, the financial table, human being, and also chat GPT. So let's see if we get the same results. Date here, date from the calendar table, date from the financial table, same here. Remember, it's one too many, so it's fine. And then, uh, let's see. Let's go back to report here real quick and let's create a couple of visuals. So we should be seeing the same results if this is working properly. How about this one right here? And then we're gonna use this measure, total profits. There you go. And here, uh, let's add the date column that I just created. It is working properly and it makes sense because I created. We can add labels here. Perfect. How about if we copy this visual and then make a copy right here. Now, instead of using the date column from the dates human being table, so we're gonna use the date column from the dates chat GPT table. And let's see what happens. Check this out, folks. Bingo. It is working properly. And that's insane, folks. You can see the results here. It is working properly. ChatGPT can give you answers, but you need to have the background. You need to have the knowledge to select the right pieces of code and also the right knowledge to tweak the code. Like I did before, if we go back to the day's chat GPT table here, I had to have the knowledge to change this day column, right? And I had to do it for every single piece of code here. So it's possible that you can create DAX formulas by using chat GPT, but you also need to be aware that the code might not be perfect and you need to have knowledge to tweak the code. So in that way you can find the right results. If you go back to the question, would ChatGPT replace Power BI developers? So my answer is no, because there should be someone behind the computer who makes the tweaks to the code. So in that way, the piece of code works properly. But remember, this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions. 
If you have already played with this tool, let me know your output. I know it sometimes works fine, sometimes doesn't work well, but let me know what you think, let me know your experience. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.